Welcome to the Central Elementary Special Education Services Information PowerPoint. Throughout this presentation, we will provide information about the Individualized Education Plans, or IEPs. We will address information about the IEP, including the schedule, the content and standards, social-emotional learning, classroom management and positive reinforcement systems, remote, hybrid, and in-person learning, and contact information. My child doesn't have an IEP. How is this information useful to me? You may ask, if my child is struggling, does that mean they are eligible for an IEP? Contact your child's general education teacher to find out what interventions are being provided and for any additional questions on how to best support your child. You may ask, my doctor told me that my child needs an IEP. What do I do? If your doctor does recommend an IEP or an evaluation, it does not automatically mean your child is eligible for an IEP. Please contact Brandy Leggett or your child's teacher. We will likely set up a meeting and discuss your child's needs and determine next steps. My child does have an IEP, but can you tell me more about what their services will look like for an in-person, remote, or hybrid model? Special education schedules are based on a student's individualized education plan. The special education services received by each student is documented under the Statement of Special Education Related Services section of their IEP and outlines the specific details of their services. The special education content and standards are written as goals listed under the Annual Goals and Benchmark or Short Term Objective section of the IEP. All goals are monitored quarterly on the dates listed and academic goals are correlated to the student's grade level standards. All students receive daily social and emotional learning opportunities within their general education classrooms. If a student has additional SEL instruction under special education services, this will be written in their individualized education plan as a specially designed goal for educational support. For more detail of their social and emotional learning, as well as any educational supports for a student's SEL needs, please contact the case manager. Throughout the special education service locations, the students will adhere to these statements. I will be a good listener. I will follow directions. I will be kind to others. And I will do my best and work hard. In order to encourage our students to do their best and work hard, the service providers implement positive reinforcement systems. These may include token boards, positive notes home, setting goals, and ringing the bell at school. For students who demonstrate exceptional work and effort, they may be nominated for Principal Prize Patrol. Remote learning in special education. For students learning from home in a remote setting, a temporary learning plan or TLP may be implemented. The purpose of this plan is to provide the appropriate amount of services to meet the student's need in a hybrid or remote model. The special education team along with the family will collaborate to design a TLP to meet the educational needs of the student. This plan will detail the meeting days, length of time, services, goals, and supports 
that will best serve the student from home. If a TLP is needed for your child, you will provide consent that you agree with the plan prior to its implementation. The student will receive weekly contact from their special education team. For students learning in a hybrid setting, students will receive both in-person and indirect instruction. Students will receive the services as outlined in their IEP through both direct instruction and independent practice. A temporary learning plan may be implemented to design a weekly plan to meet the educational needs of the student. The student will receive weekly contact from their special education team. In-person learning in special education. For students learning in person within the school setting, students will receive instruction as listed on their IEP. These services may include instruction outside of the general education setting, as well as in-classroom supports as listed on their IEP. Next, let's meet the special education team. Mrs. Marlowe and Mrs. Hash are Central's resource teachers. To contact them, use the emails below. Mrs. Urban is Central's center-based resource CBR teacher. To contact her, please use the email below. Mrs. Palmer and Mrs. Quayle are Central Speech and Language Pathologists. To contact them, please use the emails below. Dr. Kitson is Central's School Psychologist. To contact her, please use the email listed below. Mrs. Lorkey is Central's physical therapist and Ms. Stewart is the occupational therapist. To contact them, please use the email below. Mrs. Burnham is Central's social worker. To reach her, please use the email below. If you have any additional questions regarding your child's special education services or about the special education team, please contact Central Elementary School at 305 East Cedar Street, Olathe, Kansas 66061 or call us at 913-780-7370. We look forward to best serving your students' learning and supporting you and your family. Thank you.